Okay, sorry about that, but there's four slides left and it's going to be a long time to explain them. So we'll go for part two, eh? So, <clears throat> there are two main theories that try and explain how all this ties together. And they're known as the out of Africa theory, which is uh, the one that's uh, presumed correct. And they're also um, this idea of regional continuity. And all the recent discoveries, of course, are then used to try and um, justify each theory. And they're both, you know, got their proponents and they've both got really good science behind them and like most bits of science this is an area we really don't know enough to make definitive statements about and the lack of fossils is a major issue and finding human fossils is going to be very difficult we were predated upon pretty heavily and obviously a dead human is going to be scattered um, out of Africa is the, the most favored of all the um, theories and essentially it says that Homo erectus first arose in Africa in the Rift Valley. And we've got the Rift Valley just here. So I've got a point with this area here. This is Eve and Adam. Um, and they then move out of Africa and colonize the entire world. And these little traces here about the mitochondrial genes and things that have been used to do that, to follow that. And then at a later date, Homo sapiens do the same thing. So about a million years ago, Erectus spreads across the world, or Agasta becomes Erectus across the world. And Homo sapiens, 200,000 200, years ago, do the same thing. Where do the Neanderthals arise from? Well, I suppose the Neanderthals evolved from Erectus or in Europe. The Denisovans are up here somewhere. They're doing the same thing. Um, and they come into contact with, with um, Homo sapiens. Uh, this new species, uh, Nalida, is down here in South Africa. So, you know, what's going on? Um, heaps of evidence. Clearly, the concentration of fossils in Africa is enormous. So humans clearly arose in Africa. Just, the fossil bed is just too big for that not to be the case. Um, and mitochondrial DNA would suggest that's true. And you see the yellow mitochondrial DNA and blue mitochondrial DNA for sapiens and, um, and uh, Neanderthals. Parallel evolution, as some people call it, or regional continuity, as uh, Alan Thorne, professor at Australian, or late professor at Australian National University, fairly died recently, um, suggested that in fact, yeah, okay, Homo erectus did arise in Africa and it evolved out and colonized the world. But then, at various locations across the planet, we see the um, new species arising. So Homo sapiens arising in a variety of locations. Um, we see the Anatiles and now Denisovans, and of course this, this one here would be a track down to the bottom to Nalida. Uh, yeah. And there again, there's a great deal of information around that can be used to suggest that, you know, this is maybe a possible theory. New theories, new discoveries like Floriensis and Denisovans certainly give some more support to this theory than has been in the past but it's still not considered the major theory by most people. Um, my head's in the way, isn't it? I'll see if I'm driving myself out the way. I'm driving myself out the way. Yes, I can. Um, not quite far enough. So here's all those humans. Here's our Cedianthus and some other fossils that have been found. Um, the Osteroxus Astro scenes here. Also, the other different things and different names. There are these other names appearing. So there's not even agreement on some of these things until we get down to the homos. Uh, this is a bit old now, a few years old, so it doesn't have the Denisovans on it. Um, but here's a whole bunch of other species that have been found and named. And it's basically an agreed spread of our species, our genus. Um, and it's all up for discussion. So what is this? May 2006, yes, it's 10 years old. And it's, it's, it has to be updated because quite a few new things have appeared in it. But it's an interesting, interesting process. And one we'll talk a lot about in class. And that, I think, is done, isn't it? If I get this to the side, yes, it has. Okay, part two is short.